In a world where the sun is a giant egg, time moved differently. Years and days meant nothing. All that mattered was waiting for the egg to hatch. The people had lived in darkness for too long. They prayed daily for their son's birth. But as devout believers kept watch on altars of rock and rubble, something dark crept into their community. Tall shadows flickered at the edges of tunnels and crevices. Figures with pitch, black eyes emerged from under houses. No one knew what they were or why they'd come out now, but horrid rumors began to spread about these new creatures feeding off of those who unwittingly wander alone through the dim streets at night. The day came when the sky shook like sound waves before settling in silence forever after. The light has gone out without hopes left to be rekindled. Made with brain rip. Ray stepped into his dimly lit hallway, prepared for a mundane stroll to retrieve a forgotten item from the study. However, as he took one step forward, the atmosphere shifted drastically. The once familiar corridor stretched and twisted before him, defying all known laws of physics. Bewilderment consumed him, but curiosity propelled Ray further. In this unsettling liminal space, every footfall echoed endlessly against the ever-expanding walls. Rooms sprouted unexpectedly like surreal appendages lined with enigmatic objects from his memories or dreams long forgotten. Each glance transformed time itself. Minutes morphed into hours as he ventured deeper. Confusion clutched at his mind while excitement filled his heart, an undulating tapestry of emotions swirling within him. Isolated in this ethereal prison between dimensions, Ray realized that he had been given rare access to explore the ever-elastic boundaries of reality. With each twist and turn bringing new vistas yet unseen, Ray embraced the uncertainty ahead, eager to uncover the secrets hidden within this distorted realm where possibilities were endless and true perception blurred into artistry. Oh wait, he was just tripping. Lowell. Made with brain rip. As she rummaged through the aisles of the thrift store, her eyes caught a dusty VHS tape without any markings. The girl hesitated at first, but curiosity got the better of her and bought it anyway. Later in her grandmother's home, she decided to try out the obscure cassette on her outdated VCR player. Suddenly, after pressing play, a video began playing that featured herself, older, yet barely recognizable, intrigued, yet frightened by what was happening before her own eyes. The future version of herself warned about Grandma being body-snatched with an urgency only present-day self could understand. Numb from shock and disbelief, she discovered it had been too late. As soon as the message ended, lights flickered on and off before completely switching off altogether. Soon, whispers tracing up from downstairs reached upstairs. Petrified with fear like never before, there came a sound like wheels screeching outside, breaking into frightening camaraderie until suddenly everything went silent, imposing terror unabashedly behind unopened, locked doors, while tears streamed down current day's face. Made with brain rip. Emil awakened to the piercing sound of his alarm, rubbing groggily at his sleep-deprived eyes. Dragging himself out of bed and trudging towards the kitchen, he longed for the ritualistic embrace of that first sip of morning coffee. As he reached for the can in which he stored his Ethiopian beans, Emile's drooping eyelids widened with disbelief. Beneath a few remaining lonely crumbs lay an impossible-seeming wormhole, a swirling portal at the bottom of the tin can. Blinking repeatedly as if trying to will away this bizarre occurrence, Emile chuckled uneasily. Fate certainly had a twisted sense of humor. Instead of panic or fear gripping him like one would expect, amusement filled Emile's being. The absurdity could not be denied how many people stumbled upon a cosmic gateway while making their morning Joe. With determination replacing exhaustion-driven apathy, he called work with false coughs and an exaggerated, feverish voice. Today was not meant for deadlines or meetings, no, today belonged solely to unlocking the secrets within this cosmic rabbit hole buried within humble coffee grounds. Reaching into uncharted dimensions might seem slightly reckless to some, but Emile just couldn't resist. Made with brain rip.
Emil, unable to resist the temptation, reached his hand towards the wormhole in the bottom of the coffee bean tin. His fingers trembled with a mix of fear and curiosity as he wondered what lay on the other side. Would it transport him to a futuristic utopia or plunge him into an apocalyptic nightmare? The swirling vortex seemed to beckon, whispering secrets only a meal could hear. In that moment, he took a deep breath and made his decision. Caution was for less adventurous souls. With determination fueling his actions, Emil plunged his arm into the portal, feeling an unseen force pulling and tugging at every fiber of his being. Suddenly, darkness enveloped him, and time lost all meaning. It felt both exhilarating and terrifying, as if reality itself were being torn apart. Just as quickly as it started, it stopped. Emil found himself standing in front of an unfamiliar landscape, towering buildings intertwined with alien vegetation against a crimson sky. His eyes widened as a grin crept across his face. Made with brain rip. In the year 2050, a group of scientists discovered a time capsule buried deep beneath the Earth's surface. Inside was an ancient message from beings long extinct, warning of a future catastrophe that would destroy all life on our planet. The scientists dismissed it as mere myth until they witnessed firsthand the horrors unleashed upon humanity. The sky turned dark and ash rained down from above as monstrous creatures emerged from underground. They devoured everything in sight and left nothing behind but destruction and death. Amidst the chaos, one scientist realized too late what the message had truly meant. They were not warnings, but rather instructions for how to prevent this apocalypse. As he lay dying amongst the ruins of civilization, he knew there was no hope for redemption. The world would continue on, spiraling towards its own destruction, without ever knowing its true potential or purpose. And yet, some small part within him clung to hope. Perhaps someday someone would discover their mistake and break free from this eternal cycle of doom. Made with brain rip. The clock in my bedroom reads 2.37 a.m., but I'm lying awake with eyes wide open. Every time I try to drift off into slumber, a vivid dream catches me and thrusts me back into consciousness. In these dreams, the world is upside down. Furniture floats mid-air while houses teeter on stilts above an endless chasm of darkness. Last night's nightmare was different. Instead of falling or chasing some elusive concept throughout my sleep, there were people standing around me. Their faces were impossible to read at first, until they leaned closer under the flickering streetlight outside of my apartment complex. With each hiv, they murmured, their skin shifted into grotesque masks that lashed out at me like snake. My therapist says it sounds like anxiety-induced, hypnagogic hallucinations caused by not getting enough deep sleep. But whenever I close my eyes now behind the glaring sun during meetings, or on late night drives home from work, I can't shake off this feeling that they're going pop back up again. Made with brain rip. It started with just a slight discomfort. Her fingernails were growing faster than usual, but as the days went by, it became unbearable. They kept curling around like some twisted vine, digging into her skin and flesh until they reached bone. She tried every remedy she could find, filing them down to nubs, soaking them in vinegar or bleach, but nothing worked. Soon people started avoiding her at all costs. The sight of those grotesque claws made them uneasy and afraid. But she didn't care anymore. The sheer pain had driven her insane, turning her into a monster starving for release. And so one night she did the unthinkable, ripping out every nail from the roots amidst agonizing screams that echoed through empty dark alleyways, leaving behind only broken fragments of herself under the flickering streetlights. Made with brain rip. <laughs> 